I arrived in New Brunswick from Quebec City and stopped at Grand Falls. Then I spent the first night camping at an abandoned gravel pit. There are several covered bridges along St. John River. I stopped at Old Florence Bridge and then Heartland Bridge, the longest in the world. It's possible to walk and drive across. I did both twice. I continued down the St. John River, passing the world's largest axe, and then coming to Fredericton. In the bottom corner of the province is Minister's Island near St. Andrews. The island is only accessible at times when the tide is low enough to drive across a sandbar. This means in a way you're driving across the ocean floor, which is pretty cool. The island was the summer home of Sir William Van Horn, who was the president of the CPR and singly responsible for the Trans-Canada Railroad and for the Fairmont hotels that are across the country. The big barn was used for raising prized livestock and the summer home had about 50 rooms to it. On the north end of the island was some neat trails that you could walk and I found a, a spot with a nice cliff. St. Andrews also had a national historic site with a blockhouse and then continuing on my drive I found some good places with some dramatic sunset photos. That night I camped at a black sand beach and in the morning I explored the coastline. The town of St. John had some interesting architecture to it. I had hoped to get some repairs done on my car, but every mechanic shop was filled up for a week out. Along the coast is a privately operated scenic drive called the Fundy Parkway Trail. It had a lot of viewpoints, but they were mostly blocked by trees and vegetation, which was kind of disappointing. And then it rained and I got soaking wet. Every cloud in the sky. That night I camped at the Fundy National Park. It was still raining in the morning, so I was happy to be making breakfast in the car. This might be one of the first times that I'm okay camping in the rain because in the element with an umbrella and a rain jacket, I'm not getting soaked too bad. It's not like uh, camping in a tent when you're always going to be wet getting in and out of the tent. And then you gotta pack up the wet tent and all that. Last night I spent the whole night in the element Cooked in the element, slept in the element, didn't have to leave, and was happy to be dry. Alright, favorite uh, rainy camping activity, rainy, favorite raining camping activity is definitely having hot showers. Um, had a hot shower, feel great. Now I'm going to head into Alma, town of Alma. See if I can get some photos of the boats. Uh, I missed my chance last night because it was raining and I think the tide's too high but uh, I'm gonna take a look and see what happens.
Yesterday the boats were on the ground, but the tide is still high right now, so unfortunately I can't get pictures of the boats grounded. Onward past Cape and Rage was the Hopewell Rocks Park. This was probably my most anticipated stop on the trip because I was really interested in seeing the tides in the Bay of Fundy. <laughs> On the Gulf of St. Lawrence, I visited three sand dune beaches. The first was Dune de la Buche, followed by Cuchi Bugat National Park, and then Cape Luminaire. National Park uh, here for lunch and a picnic but there are some very large mosquitoes and I've already gotten one bite so the wind's not quite strong enough to keep them away but if I can kill this one I think we'll be okay. I was definitely not okay. Well uh, the picnic lunch was a moderate failure. Uh, the view was nice, but 
the mosquitoes got me three times. So that wasn't so fun. And then I spilt juice on myself. Um, now I'm going for a hike along the river, which was recommended to me by the one of the park rangers. We'll see how far I get because I can hear the bugs around my head. So I'm not too keen on getting too many more bug bites. But I want to see at least a bit of the river and I want to go for a bit of a walk. So I'm going to see how far I get before the bugs get me. Okay, I didn't get far at all. Not even, not even half a kilometer, I don't think. Uh -huh. the, the mosquitoes around my head just bothering me too much. Um, so I'm going to go back to the beach where there's a boardwalk and some more sand dunes. And hopefully, hopefully there it's windy enough that, um, that it keeps the bugs away. Cape Luminaire was where I camped for the night. It was pretty empty, except where there was a lot of bugs around the sand dunes and the grass. But out on the beach, there were osprey diving into the water to catch fish in the shallows. And further out, there were groups of seals bobbing in the water. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to help grow my channel.